Governor Walker in Washington, D.C., a day after delivering controversial remarks that made national news. If I can take on 100,000 protesters, I can do the same across the world. The governor made those comments after receiving a question on how to combat terrorism as president. And with the latest polls showing Governor Walker at the top of the pool of possible Republican presidential candidates, political experts say this won't be the last comment from Walker that will be scrutinized. NBC 26's Megan Lowry is live at 6 to explain. Sissy, political experts say the national audience is still learning about Governor Walker, and that makes him a target for both Republicans and Democrats. Governor Walker's speech at the CPAC conference in Washington, D.C. is getting both praise and criticism, which should be no surprise, according to political consultant Jim Morrison. And let's be honest, people are going to take from a statement whatever they wish they could take from it. The statement that put Governor Walker in the hot seat yesterday was a supposed comparison. He made that dealing with protesters during Act 10 has prepared him to lead the fight against ISIS terrorists. Walker maintains the comment was taken out of context. I'm just pointing out the closest thing I have to handling a difficult dis dis situation was the 100,000 protesters I had to deal with. Th there's no analogy between the two other than difficult dis situation. But even fellow Republicans like former Texas Governor Rick Perry say his comment was in poor taste. I think uh, you know, trying to uh, make the connection between ISIS and, and unions was a mistake. This statement raising questions on Walker's international experience. But Morrison points out many presidential candidates have never dealt with an international crisis before running. What you do is you build on your strength. You surround yourself with people who have that knowledge and you learn from those people. Morrison says while the comment may have been a faux pas, it will likely not have a lasting effect on Walker's possible campaign. Megan Lowry, NBC 26.